all the pressure was getting to my head and I was just about to pop, you know, and I was just like, nah, I gotta get away, just go on my own, you know, sort of little journey and, you know, this is where I like coming as well for my, you know, the spot to come to escape to, so. I just know I'm safe here, you know, it's just feeling safe. I can't explain, I can just feel it, you know what I mean, I can't explain it, it's just a feeling. It's just goosebumps, like I know when I'm using goosebumps, I know I'm in a good spot. It just calls me all the time, it's weird, like, I, I can't explain it how it is, it's just, I've got to get away from the city and get away from people. It's good because I get to switch off, you know, mentally, obviously, um, you know, the boys went to LA and uh, I really was really keen, but just with thing, everything going on in the media and all that, I just sort of thought, if I go over there, you know, they're looking for another story and I thought if I can get away and not, you know, be in anywhere in anyone's hindsight and be able to do what I want to do and uh, walk down the street without getting, you know, talked to and, um, that's why I really enjoy coming out of here and just, you know, being away from everyone. In my head, this is going to pop because everyone just wanted to be, everyone, like, not even the people that was talking bad about it, they just wanted to know what was going on. Oh, where are you going, bro? Where are you going? Where are you going, cuz? What team are you looking at? Who's saying this? I was like, I was like, nah, I need to go. You know, cause I literally, I was just feeling that much pressure in my head. And as soon as I got out here, I just went, Phew. He's one of those sort of blokes that, um, it's just, mm. it's him pretty hard. You know, he, he, you know, he won't show much emotion and stuff. Mm. But, um, you know, the family around him, mm. it's, um, yeah, it's, it's really paying a toll at the moment, so. And where do you feel like you're at at the moment? How are you feeling with, with everything that's happening? Like, with everything in the media and, uh, yeah, I look, it's, it's all speculation, eh? Everyone wants to know. Obviously, my manager's doing a bit behind the scenes, but, um, yeah, I've been talking to a few people as well and it's like, well, I don't need to make a decision, you know? I just need to talk to these followers, see what they're offering, see what's out there, and that's all I wanted to do. I didn't even say no to, you know, my Rooster's offer, that was the funniest thing about it. I said to Trent and I said, look, I just want to go explore my options, is that alright? And he's like, mate, you can entitled to it. And that's where, it, that's where it ended, pretty much, and that's all you know, I took out of it. I said, right, well, I'm going to go see. And then I went to the pub that, that day, you know, I'd have a beer and that here and there, and then I'd say, oh, Rooster's pulled out a... You know, they told me to deal, and I was just like, oh, that's a kick in the teeth. What's your relationship like at the moment with Trent and Nick? Oh, I had a, look, I'll, I'll have a yarn with, and, with him and Nick when I get back, but yeah, look, that's just, that's, it's, it's men's business, you know, you just gotta have a yarn. You can't just sit back like little kids anymore and, and talk. You know, it's, it's money we're talking about, it's, you know, it's, it's life after footy we're talking about, and it's like, why well, don't I muck that up for myself because, you know, people are in my way, you know, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I've done it all my life, no one's standing in my way for what I want, you know what I mean? So, if that's at the rooster, then it is, man. I'll stay and I'll cherish the jump that I always have and I always will. No matter where I go, if I go anywhere, that's what I'm saying. Like, the roosters don't understand how much like, of a home it is to me. Where are the contract negotiations up to at the moment? Obviously, I went and seen the Cowboys. I went and seen the Tigers. I'm entitled to. I haven't seen, the, I haven't seen Titans. I spoke to Mal, but that's about it. That's all it is. People saying I'm going to Union, I'm going to AFL. I couldn't even last in the NRL, let alone AFL, you know? <laughs> With, um, I guess, you wanting to look out elsewhere, like, was your, you saying you wanted to play fullback, was that...? Oh, look, yeah, that was just a... I've said that through. I've been a fullback. I started in yeah. fullback. I played all my juniors in fullback. And, look, I know Teddy's awesome. He's the best in the world. And I just said, look, if there's an opportunity somewhere to play fullback, I'd obviously try and see. And, you know, I'm really pretty good at centre at the moment, and I've really enjoyed it. I've never played centre in my life. That's the funny thing about it. And I've always been a fullback. And, no, I've worked really hard to be probably the best centre in the world at the moment. No, I think I've played there three years now and it's just like, uh, an, uh, I guess, a chore now. Like, I just want to sort of challenge myself. So Mitchell's gone to the bin for ten. Can you tell us about Origin this year and what happened there? I haven't really spoken about it, to be honest. Everyone sort of tries to bring it up. Um, we have a yarn and that, like, I sneak it in there. and um, I don't, you know, give them too much, but... Um, just for that, that little period, I think I sort of worked out what I needed to work on as well for myself. Like, I didn't get told what I needed to work on. Were you angry that Freddie didn't come and have a chat with you? Yeah, oh, look, I was, like, I won't, I'm not going to go into too much detail with Freddie, but like, I haven't had a yarn with him. He said he's going to ring me and he still hasn't rang me, so it's, um, yeah, I just, look, I wanted to have a yarn and sort of see what, where we were at, and um, that's where I'm at at the moment. It's like, well, I haven't got nothing off him. And I know I played a bad game, but it's like, well, <laughs> I can't play good every game. You know, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's just in that, uh, that arena where it's just thinking, you know, it's the pinnacle of rugby league, which is not, you know, playing for your country. Right? And that's why I respect Mal, you know, so much, because his loyalty. He rang me after that, that when I got dropped in that, and he's just like, mate, play good and I'll pick you. Now Mitchell and Chambers comes in over the top. Well, he's been really tentative tonight, Latrell Mitchell, in attack and defence. Going back to that period where I was yeah, just sort of didn't, wasn't switched on. You know, there's a lot of things obviously going on with my brother. 
you know, one night we were at the pub and um, obviously this lad was being a you know, little redneck to me and um, yeah, I just, obviously I couldn't do nothing, I mean, like, you know, I can't do nothing and my little brother just had enough and just, you know, obviously whatever happened after that happened and I you know, charged my brother and he went to court and um, there was a lot of pressure on me and it was through the time of origin and and then, yeah, it was really hard and I was just, that's all I was thinking about is my little brother making sure he's right because he was getting five years for nothing, you know. Did the Blues know everything nah, that was going on? No, they didn't know anything. They didn't know anything. And I don't blame them. They don't, they don't need to know everything. But yeah. it's just, you know, giving me a ring and seeing where I was at, you know, that's the biggest thing for, you know, for me, so. Do you feel like there's enough cultural consideration around our, for our players? I think since me and Cody come and Foxy stood out for what we believed in, it was sort of like everyone went funny on us, do you know what I mean? Well, a lad in Scotland wrote this song 60 years ago and he expect us to sing it. Like, I don't, I don't believe I need to, you know what I mean? You know? Yeah, I just think for me and Cody, we're not going to stop doing what we're doing. It's, I think people love, in our culture, our people love seeing what we're doing. So it makes me proud, you know, obviously to be a leader. We're leading the way for the younger generations to stop taking this stuff, you know, to stand up for the believe not hiding. And as soon as you, you stand up for yourself, I guarantee you, the people that have been raised to you stop straight away. And that's a stop for me now at the moment, so it's good. Away now for Latrell and O'Carr! He's going to go back to back! There's a lot of things, there's you know, a long way to go you know, for our culture to be even recognised as equal. Yeah, it's going to take a few more generations before it's even considered a thought. Who is the real Latrell? Uh, they they seem to be this arrogant grub off the field. People expect, oh, I think I'm a grub one. So I, 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 I play aggressive, that's me. I've always played like that. I'm just competitor, I just don't like other people beating me. And that's why I get through a while. But I like winning as well. You don't, like, you don't play rugby league to lose, you know what I mean? But where I'm at, you know, where people you know, got bad things to say about me, but they don't know me from a bar of soap, you know. And if they come out of beer or sat down and had a yarn with me, they'd, they'd sort of change their opinion straight away, I reckon. What does your family mean to you? Oh, I've got no words for it. It's just their love. You know, my family is massive, like, in throughout my career, what they've done. And I just want to bring my little girls up on the country, you know, and that's the best thing. Um, you know, that's why I'm trying to set up what I've got to set up now. And, it's like, it's the little things you do, you know, farmers help farmers, you know. I'm, I'm, I want to be a farmer, that's where I'm starting now, that's why I come in and do what I got to do and learn as much as I can. Everyone's always made a decision for me since I've been playing NRL, you know, it's always signed the contract straight away and this and that. I just wanted to make my own decision for this one, you know, I'm a man now, I'm a father. just wanted to see where I could sort of, you know, where I'm at with my footy, what people want to offer me and um, just for now I just want to worry about, like obviously in a year with the Roosters and, and go back and, and rip in with the boys and I just want to go and win another comp from.